Alrighty, we are back with some more Grand Theft Taurus, i.e. Uh, A.K.A., excuse me, Red Dead Redemption. Normal, because I'm not for hardcore mode. Let's bring the stream up so I can check out the chat. Freaking ads. So we've done all the McFarlane missions uh, for now. I think there might be one, one or two that we have to complete at the end, like towards the end of the game. But I think for now we've got uh, Mr. West Dickens to deal with. I think I'm just gonna take a stagecoach into town. See if it lets me. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, uh, yeah, let's go to Armadillo. Armadillo. You just rest up a spell, mister. I'm the best coachman in these here parts. What a poster is, uh, He's one opposed to begin bounty hunting. That'd be cool. Oh, shit. Here, let's just skip to the destination. Completely forgot about that. Make you sit through this boring shit. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Alright. He just fucking jumps out. Now, I think I should have enough to buy this house in Armadillo. No, trust me. Move! How much is it? It's $50. Nice. Alright, let's sleep in our new home. It's so weird having Y is the sort of interact button in this. Save game. Wait, oh, it's Tempest. Tempest. A uh, Tempest looms. There we go. Times it. Oh, it's still dark out. Oh, is it? What time is it? It's two in the morning. If I go to sleep again, it'll be eight. Listen, and I'm okay with that. There we go. And we're gonna take the fast way down. Oh, there's my horse. Um, let's go visit Wes Dickens. Oh, it's all the way back here. I don't have a fancy overlay, so I have to keep a. I have to keep like my own stream going on my phone just so I can see the chat. So if you say something, I don't respond right away. I apologize. Oh, 
are they shooting at? Oh! Hey! Let's go skin us some, uh, coyotes. Give me that. Sell that for some... What? Why's the combat music going on? Are they gonna attack me? Whatever. Let's just continue uh, skinning these things and... I'm just cutting in the cactus. Oh, did wait, did it skin itself? Yeah, it did. Glitch. Alright, now let's get back on track. Whoa, wait, I think I'm supposed to collect these flowers too. Red Sage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need that. Or at least I'm going to need that, and it's going to be really annoying having to find it. Let's go. That was a deer. Hey, you skin that thing. Sorry, I'm going to be doing this a lot. This is a messy. All right. Come on. There was a flower here too. I didn't see where. Oh, maybe I missed it. Oh well. Worry about it later. Excuse me, sir. Here it is. Man, this dude about to die. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, oh, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse Love me. having my own gallon of water. No, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> you are a sad, strange little man. Badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Oh my god, this nigga's complaining the whole fucking time. Head for Armadillo, friend! What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh. This one kind of annoys me because. Oh, yeah, this, this is why. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. It's so hard to drive and do this. These things driving on their own? No, no, they're not. 
Oh, what? I gotta go on this stupid little dirt. Well, it's like a tiny dirt path, path my guy. We must hurry. Well, I'm fucking going, my guy. It's ain't exactly ideal for. Where's the other guy? Oh. What the hell happened to you? Motherfucker. Bandits, hoodlums, the scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die. Well, I mean, I you're wearing a suit, so. My own success. They see a man in a workout suit and this happens. It's pretty clear that you're. Master John, master! Thank God that's smart. You're wearing a suit, so you're you're basically just saying, "Hey, I have a lot of money. You should kill me and take it." We're here. Stay with me. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Armadillo. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but. I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. First fly is, like, buzzing around his carriage. Bye, Mr. Monopoly Man. Nigel's wounds will take some time to heal. There you can further explore New Austin. Let's go do a mission for the marshal. That's always fun. You'll have to wait, lady. Ah. What are they doing? Ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Look at him, he's ready to blow my head off. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? I've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who were getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? You damn right, I'll ride. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. <laughs> he stops to take a swig. <laughs> hey, wait up! Why me? Because you. Alright, boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure I mean, I guess. the diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can <laughs> spend their money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. <laughs> I love this guy. Hey, Marshall, see those vultures? Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Hillbilly. Eli, you too. Beautiful. Ain't no survivors here, Marshall. Can I loot their bodies? Asking for a friend. This don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people they went and dropped their gun. <laughs> John's got the right idea. I'm gonna loot the rest of these. Okay, can I? Is it gonna let me? No, it's not. Alright, let's ride. Come on.
Oh, come on. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Yeah, DC's sort of right. There are some people who are just born evil, like uh, Jonah, like Eli says, or Jonah. Is it Jonah? Yeah. I think it's All right, Jonah. let's go check it out. This don't look so good. Let's go see. Ah, got you there. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm still going. Let's have a look around. Wait. Can I take my stairs? I can. Shed's clear, Marshal. Okay, now no, now's the matter of getting out of the There we go. Come on. Oh, slow down. I just went dude, he legit just went He's, he's going through the fence. What is this shit? All right. We we gotta. No one oh, here. Okay, good. No one was shitting. Good to know. Let's go. Hey. There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Come on, John. Uh, yeah. Not not to mention the map says there's dead bodies in there. One. Two, three, four, you know the rest of the meme. Oh boy, that's a pretty sight. Is it me, or did the body just not render and it blurred itself out? That shit looks like it's straight out of a comic. Gunning everybody down. Oh, hey! Oh, there's still somebody in the bottom floor. Oh, <laughs> he's just standing there giving you best shot. Oh, I just clocked him in the face. Oh my god, that took way too long. It's gonna be alright. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Yeah. Go home, buddy! God, I'm so terrible at aiming. He's still alive! As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep can your I, head down. Can I loot you? No, I can't. Did unspeakable things to me. Yeah, that, that's... Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Mind if I just loot everything here first? Sit Marshal, sir. Okay. Get you. Is this person like on the bottom floor or something? Are they out? Maybe they're outside. Yeah, I think they're on the bottom floor. Can I go out here? Whoa, what's this? What, 
Did I take something? Oh, I got some money out of it. Cool. Wait, I think there's somebody that died on the balcony out here. Nope, they fell. <gasps> Definitely the ideal way to go downstairs. Oh, here he is. That's what I was looking for. Okay, I think that's all of them. I don't think anybody died in here. Yo, I didn't even know about this. Cool. I'm gonna check all these, uh, all these rooms for shit. Cause I did not know you could do that. Okay, we already checked him. Anything? Nope. Oh, come on. Oh, another armoire. Let's check this. Well, if there's a time portion to this uh, mission, I'm definitely not getting it. Okay, did not did not mean to jump. Yeah, there was an armoire. Okay, we got that. I think there's one warm room I gotta check, and then we'll be good. Unless no I already got that one. Oh, there's nothing out here. Good. Nice. <laughs> I like that I'm just not taking the stairs. Just hysterical. Rightfully so, though. Okay, I was like, did you take my horse? She is right, though, in that there's barely any law out here. Talking, Marshall. What the hell, man? You just walk away now, John. Oh, this guy. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. I will. You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. 
I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! I'll get you, I'll tell you what. Everybody, take cover! Why do I have my pistol out? Oh no, I killed the horse! You, you bastard! Oh god, oh god! Do I have any minutes? Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and reload. Load a little bit more. Come on, you coward. Tell Billy. I think they call this a massacre. All right. <laughs> Look what I got here. <laughs> this something that you're still breathing. Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie! Yeah. Oh. Norman. I love Jonah. Good to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. <laughs> Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. All right, we got a shit ton of dead bodies to look through. Probably shouldn't have left my horse on the train, but I'll keep an eye out for it. Oh, what am I saying? I won't. Get off the train. You're actually a nice horse. I don't want you to die. No, no, don't ride horse. I already loot this body? Yeah, I did. Where's the other one at? There we go. There's a gun over there. See if I can't get some more ammo. Yeah. How much money do I have? $342. Alright. I'd say we're in a good spot. Go hang out at the. They want me to follow the train. Oh god. Come on. Let's go. How far is it? Take the scenic route.
I took you back here. Alright, um, here, let's wrap around. Place to hitch my horse there? No, there's not. There we go. Hello. Ugh, this guy. Howdy, friend. You won't find anything Jewish made in this establishment, sir. Jeez. A fine choice. You know, if Johns is elected governor, he's going to open the rail lines to Allende. Everything here is proudly made right here in the USA. Mm. Probably buy, I should probably buy some more medicine. And uh, buy myself a weapon if I can. You know I gotta get the double barrel shotgun. All right, enough of that. I think we we spent quite a bit of money. And we go to the general store. No, I didn't want to go there. Fuck. And well. I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. Mm, at everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I'd do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy Damn. ounces or more. That's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes along with it. Listen, Marston... I'm broke. He but knows I could beat the shit out of him. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, John. Let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. Wait, why am I driving? Excuse me, sir. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Carston. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold. Oh, okay, I'm Such terrible at driving. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. Not That's true. Acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. 
more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall we prepare Iago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship job. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be formed. Eventually, we'll call you up to try my comic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you form a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress me. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. See you shortly. Clever old and man. Remember, showmanship. Oh, horsey. Oh, bishop. We need to get there before him. I got there before him. Hardworking souls of Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? I'm not even sure these people understand what he's talking about. Makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, irate, toothaches, backaches, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> well, can you prove it, old man? Super male vitality. Oh, this guy is Alex sure Jones. Some customer here who could prove the qualities of it by taking a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer entirely... Poor, poor wretched volunteer. ...will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. If you say what so. What sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Squints? I can see it pretty clearly. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Boom. Wait, he is still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. Did I miss it? Try again, friend. The oh fuck, I missed it. I thought I hit it. I missed it again, didn't I? Wait, he is still adjusting. Oh my god, is it gonna do this cutscene the whole time? Try again, friend. The tonic may still be there we go. <laughs> Remarkable! It only took him like three times. Oh, I didn't mean to skip this. Fuck. I gotta shoot this guy's hat.
such an eye. Behold Forgot A skips cutscenes. Hey, hey. What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? I mean you asked me to shoot it. Come on. Are you a man or not? A challenge of What are you a man or a mouse? Look at him. The tonic is coursing through his veins. Bitch. I've had about enough of you. Can you believe your Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Look at him. There it is, skeptics and dissenters. Irrefutable proof. Do not let yeah. this Well, that's probably the burn. end of it. I, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure it's all fine. And he pulls a gun. Dude, everybody here has guns. What are you talking? Oh, sure, he's got a gun. Oh, it's... <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> They're chugging that shit by the gallons. <laughs> Look at that. No harm in trying one bottle. <laughs> Even he's in on it. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you... Oh, Seth, he's a colorful figure. He's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! Bonnie, yeah. Seth. I think that's what the B stands for. Yep. I guess all right we'll do we'll do the Bonnie mission Where the heck's my horse at oh I hear it come on buddy Let's get out of civilization. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's right! This chick. Here, we, we'll do that. Um, get this... Sage. Or... Whatever it is. Oh, this girl. This is this is the chick from the train. Hello, hello there. Howdy, miss. Uh, I'm pretty sure. What are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call Jenny. me Jenny. Uh, uh, Dude, she's about to die. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So, uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. Um, I don't know about that, but... You're trying to move a mountain? Okay. Oh, no, uh, I can't do anything. But with faith... 
I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. The world is also going to kill you and feast on your corpse. Nothing's going to kill me, sir. Well, take care then. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> she just collapses again. Wait, can I go talk to her again? Give Jenny some medicine. Medicine? What, what do you mean? I thought I bought medicine. Oh, I don't have any. No. All right, I guess we'll have to return when we have, when we have medicine. All right, I'm gonna make a campsite and go into uh, go to McFarland's ranch and get some medicine and. Hopefully we can bring her some, and then do a Bonnie mission. Yeah. Hex the doctor at whatever. Let's just do this. The burning. This is the farm one. See, I thought I thought I thought this triggered automatically at the end of uh, her quests. No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right. I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. That's a good point. Come on, boy. Look, I think I see someone. I don't see anybody. It's not Daddy, you focus on anybody. Daddy, what happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. And you head back to the ranch right now and fetch a wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Please stay close. Really? What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really hey now. Know? Don't be bringing up my past. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully <laughs> romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset. Look, Mr. Marston! <laughs> You're upset! <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't get to finish the dialogue. 
I mean, I could have just not helped you. So I don't know why you're complaining. It's getting worse. Come on. Help me, will you? There's no way in through the front. This ain't working. Try and get in through the loft, Mr. Marston. Pop up the windmill. Oh shit! The ladder's on. Oh, I just fucking barreled through that guy. <laughs> Oh no! I just jumped off. God damn it. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't close enough to it. Shimmy and a shimmy and a shimmy. Come on, come on. There we go. And get myself up. Oh, almost walked off. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna take the long way down. <laughs> God damn it. Oh wait, I, I I don't have to shoot. I just have to open it. He got the door open. I got it. No more. Slap horse. Yeah, slap ass. Yeah, slap ass. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god. Terrorize the town. What? It's not my fault. The fucking horse just jumped right over her. Alright, let's try this again. Well, I can't all the way over from here. Oh god. Oh, if I. Oh shit. See, look. It's weird. I just fucking take the long way down. I don't even bother using ladders. This ain't working. Well done. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Slap ass. Wait, no, don't, don't, no, don't. Let's slap the horse. Don't climb the ladder. Slap ass. Slap ass. Oh no. Beautiful horse. Let us go. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I first yeah. to. How's that for a criminal with a code? Outlaw with a code. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McC Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. Yeah, I think that, I'd say that's this. plenty. If I get back home and Get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up.
got some fame. Place is burned to bits. Alright, so next we got Marshall and we got Seth. Let's get let's do some more of Marshall Johnson's missions. Maybe give Jenny some Yeah, I think we'll do that first. We'll give Jenny some uh medicine. Shouldn't there be a Shouldn't there be a doctor here? Oh yeah, he's in the way back. It says that, but I don't see any... What? Who said that? Is that you? Is that you taking a piss? You the doctor? I ain't hearing shit. Yeah. Yeah, it says that, but I don't see where it's coming from. You're the doctor. God damn it. What, what, what do I gotta wait for you to stop peeing? Look, he's taking forever. Look at that. Okay, he's just been peeing there the whole time. This. Ay, ay, ay. Might as well, uh. Might as well go over to the stagecoach to take one armadillo and buy some medicine there. Come on if you're coming. Give me that thing. Oh fuck, no, don't drive. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh shit. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. Hey, hey. Come on, come on. I did not mean to do that. I am sorry. Please don't kill me. And please don't arrest me. Master. Fuck. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, it looks like we're heading to Armadillo the fast way. Oh my god, and I got kicked off my horse. Fuck! I ain't gonna kill anybody. I have a $20 bounty. Until you pay your debt to society. I just wanted to take the stagecoach, man. I even went up to it. I was sure as hell that I was by the passenger door, so I would not steal it. I wonder, can I pay my bounty off in here? Or do I have to actually go back to McFarland's Ranch and pay the bounty there? Let's test it. I'll pay my bounty. You have an unpaid bounty on your head from earlier crimes, so you paid off. Clear your name, lawman, policies, bounty hunters, teen hunt down. 
Train stations have across the land have the telegraph offices inside here. You can wire money to the courts to clear your name. Using pardon letter at a telegraph office, clear your name without payment needed. Pardon letters can be found in locations such as gang hideouts. There we go. I paid my debt to society. Excuse me, boy. Howdy. Hello there. Howdy. Oh, I can buy some medicine here. Granted, I even have enough for medicine. Just finished helping. Howdy. I'm selling some good tonics if you need them. I have no idea how much money I have. Oh, wait, it says up there. There we go. That'll work. I am pretty much out of money now. So let's go do a mission for the marshal. If that lady is still crying. Alright, but it's gotta be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? What? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. <laughs> the Keep fucking banter in this. Good day, Mr. McFarland. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get out from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. <laughs> government <them laughs> He's got a good point. More than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back. Before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! <laughs> have a nice day. What do, we do? We do, what do you think we do? You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Hey, I'm sorry for accusing you of stealing my daughter. Oh, no problem, Mr. McFarland. More. You can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Yeah. Come on, let's ride hard to Tumbleweed. What happens when the Federals interfere in our affair? Are you what? happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only How is this my fault? Sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. You wanted to capture that dude. Government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the king of diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. Fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill's standards have slipped. We 
already filled you with lead once. Not the kind of man to be second in command, but too coward stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, <laughs> for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger He's on got a point. A lonely godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. No popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped. Just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Pinning an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to yeah. be rules, Marston. Even He's you got must a point. understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's it. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Then look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. What I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like we, Marston. Weeks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. Oh, slow down, will ya? Oh, that means go faster. God, I've never held a held A for so long. Exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Fair my ass. Besides, ish. Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town and make the exchange. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those Boy. rancher girls like it in the rear. <laughs> God damn it. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. Why don't you save some of that breath from breathing? What are you waiting for? Untie me, fellas. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. I <laughs> shot his gun. Oh shit, did I shoot who I think I saw? I shot? No, I didn't. Alright. I don't think I don't think she's gonna be able to answer. Oh, you kidding me, right? Fucking Oh, I just barrel stuffed him. Oh, let me Come on. I see tougher nurse things. Don't make me kill you now. Check your ass. 
Oh my god! Excuse me, could you not? Okay. Please. Where is he? Oh, he's on the roof. Fuck off. I kind of shot it like near the middle, but it's cut off at the knot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up. You got another thing coming. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> yeah, I get to loot everything now. Give me that. I want to get up there. How do I get up there? They ain't letting me up there. <laughs> he just jumps. <laughs> I ain't gonna be able to loot his body, am I? That sucks. Oh, wait, can I jump on here? Oh! Here we go. Sorry, partner. I ain't sorry. Dude's a criminal. That everybody is that what I think it is let's see let's make this quick maybe uh, is my horse I think this is is it? Oh, no, it's not. Almost got on the wrong horse. Well, where's she? It was a rabbit. I thought it was a ja I thought it was a jackal. Let's go. My bad. Enter town. Anything in here? Nope. What about back here? Oh, no, that's just another door. Could have swore there was a dead body. I guess not.
Where the hell are you going, horse? Come on, buddy. Oh shit. Don't worry, I got you. I got you, B. You mean what? There's no supplies in here. It's empty. I stole my wagon. Oh god, don't break it, don't break it. Like how I can back this thing up. How does this thing stay together? Oh, you bastard. Come on, horseshoe. Yeah. All right. Let's go give Jenny some more medicine and go see Seth, I guess. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. Oh, jeez. Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me. <coughs> Were there no, that's just being a decent human being. Jenny. This bitch. Can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in You're heaven. gonna die out here. Heaven. But alrighty. Go uh, set up camp somewhere, and we just passed flower. Get that. There we go. That's one. Basic campsite.
Can I go in here? Yeah. Exhuming another fine... I could read the rest because of the overlay. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. <laughs> West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great <laughs> pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I thought it was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. He's like the center of his mustache is all rubbed off. He's got like a reverse Hitler mustache going on. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where he is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Sure. So where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. His belt is a rope. I like that. Horses are over here! Whoa. Oh, I almost took his. Did not want to do that. Can't we use paths? How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrite. The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you? You're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Oh, Maybe jeez, don't get philosophical on me. When we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Faster! in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. <laughs> so, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Yes. I met Williamson and Deke, and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who'll do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. This place is freaking far. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. 
just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now, I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Oh. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. Oh, I gotta be wanted again for this. I forgot. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract them so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. All right. This is one god awful assignment. Don't you lay a finger on them horses, really? mister. You attracted too much attention from the law. Oh, I think I'm. I think I'm supposed to just take the. Uh, um, just steal the horse. Oh my god! Oh shit, don't kill me! Must be the fine for Grand Theft Horse. Apologize for any stream lag you see. Go hit him. I'm coming. He didn't even finish his sentence. Haha, <laughs> gotcha! Gotcha, bitch. Hog tie. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. Yeah, yeah. Boy, you wait. That crazy bastard. We'll split it between us, just me and you. <laughs> Did you think I would find you, Moses? Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisting little freak. I ain't telling you shit. 
Then I'm gonna cut you up piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's gone crazy in the sun. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never cut into a live one before. <laughs> Uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. <laughs> he pissed himself. Moses. He beat his pants. <laughs> then again, I probably would too. And put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Come on. Ain't no time to be wasted. Move, bitch. Well, hello. I hear they found some treasures hidden under that front I'm going to pay up. I'm going to save the pardon letter. Man. No doubt about it. Master, I hope you stay out of trouble now. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. All right, we did that. We got another Wes Dickens uh, thing. I think this one might be the one with the horse race. But I'm not entirely sure. It's been a fat minute since I've thoroughly played this. Wait, why is he still in Red Ridgewood? That's my question. <laughs> Liars, cheats, and other thingies. Ah, uh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm alright. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? <laughs> I believe Seth comes from that I... school of thought. <laughs> oh, very interesting. I think there's a reason that that's not a thing anymore. Your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, <laughs> if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> but before we can attend to your particular problems, um, 
Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <sighs> Oh my god, he's gonna make me carry all of it at once. <laughs> Let's sell some more of these cures. <laughs> sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly. Yep, it is the horse racing one. Activity. Where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> Come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> now, sir, two gap, two breach. Ride shotgun. Uh, it's not terribly far. I'll let Seth him talk. Is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's Watson and Jensen. Connection with him more like. You and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Oh, my dear boy. <laughs> That's a good point. What are you talking about? My horse is just following us. <laughs> Look at it. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. In Robin Hood with Spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. I'm surprised this guy hasn't got gotten himself killed. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. You're throwing me into the ring. Oh, 
now I can't skip. It's, uh, oh, it's this one. I thought it was the horse race. It's the carriage one. Get. Dude said to count to three, and he didn't even count. But I hope I widen this lead, because there are times where I really fuck up on this track. Yo, I hope I. Part of me hopes that RDR2 will be, uh, will have first-person view. I don't know if it, if I saw that in the gameplay video, but that'd be cool. Oh god, falling off that would have sucked. Is where they catch up. Is like right on my freaking tail. I'm going for my stamina to build up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Oh, good. Only one more until the finish line. Finish. Hell of a race, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a hasty retreat. Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Bye bye me. Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers. I guess. I guess it was okay. Oh, drop me up back here, huh? Well done. 
done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by oh, the name another of old Irish. friend. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? All right. Let's see, we do another West Dickens mission. Ooh, new weaponry. Ooh. Let's do this. Give me some money. I mean, we'd still be outnumbered, but... Oh, there's a bunch of... Wow, that was quick. What have we got here? Got that. Got that. I'm not sure if you should trust me on that, but... Okay. I just hopped over that when I could have used the door. Anything down here? Ooh, yeah, there is. Give me that. I gotta drive this thing. Oh my god, that is far. Alright, let's do it then. Nobody ever said doing the right thing was easy. horses. Get the Swear to God, if you kill my horses... Yeah, that's what I thought, bit.
Oh, God damn it. Oh God, if you kill my horses. Okay, we're about halfway there. Careful not to shoot the horses. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, is this it? Oh, I think it is. Yes. I'm sure you can. Solomon's Folly completed. Get some money for that. Uh, looks like I did. Looks like I got a decent amount. Alright. I think I want to try to finish up Wes's uh, stuff and then call it good. Waypoints. Cool. I want to go sleep. He's just ignoring him. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give... The most ordinary of intelligences, a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of Jesus is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you, but sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Friends, hard work. 
working souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, well, Oh, this no. This man is a fucking charlatan. Got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. <laughs> he's just, he's just rushing him back to the carriage. He knows. Shit's about to go down. Somebody get this back. I think we leave oh, I'm supposed to ride shotgun. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm supposed to ride shotgun. Boy, we can put me. How about this? The patron saint of business. I say you do need your job to search. Load. Starting to run a little low on ammo. I might need to make a food metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? Robin Banks felt more honest than this. Might want to change the targeting system here for Deadeye though. Options. I think I'll turn off golden guns. I mean, it's a, it's a nice aesthetic and everything, but... Um... Wondering how... I want to. I don't want like. I don't want the targeting mode for Deadeye to be. Uh, fucking. I don't want it to be automatic. Cause that is where it came from, though. I'm gonna do my best not to kill the horses. I don't want to do that. Hillbillies? Yeah. Ignorant? I wouldn't say so much. They seem pretty smart to me. Oh my god. He just exploded that thing. Hey! Fuck off. No, I want to kill him. Where is he? No, yourself. There we go. He's like wedged between the rocks. I've used like all my ammo now. That tonic got drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. Oh my god, there can't possibly be more. Please die. You're making me waste bullets. Really want to die, friend. One less moron 
That it? Oh, there's one more. Maybe? Two more? One more? Yeah, we've got ten freaking... Twelve... Twelve rounds! That started with like sixty. Better be well compensated for this. Oh, he shot me like right in the freaking chest. Wait, but what now? Oh, you're just gonna hide out in this little, little ridge here? Cueva Seca. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. I mean, I guess. It always impresses me with the speed which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. <laughs> yes, so perhaps we should shelve the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at again. There's a meet at Ratzgeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> yeah. All right, now can I do this mission? Yes, I can. Mr. West Dickens. Now I think this is the horse race oh, one. Mr. Marston. He's taking a piss. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Uh, barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. Did he just call me stupid? I understand you, but I will endeavor to make you me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Oh. Good thing we left. Words, I refuse to let the blind oh. stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear. Everybody knows you're as good as a dumbass dick. I read that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. You're <laughs> such a successful businessman. What are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for <laughs> myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Ridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership... Eh, I don't know about that. I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help. But I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John. Damn, this dude's hogging the fucking road. Win this race and we'll be ready. 
I give you my word. There it is, John. Raft Skeller Fort. Maybe I do have a problem. Alright. Bitch, I will kill you. This will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily out. Get your stick. Let's go. Go. God damn. Just like freaking Mario Kart, where I fuck up the start. Oh shit! I wasn't watching my thing. Oh, no, 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 let me get back. Fucking. I better not lose this. Catch up, you bastard. I'm starting to catch up. I see him now. He's good. Let's go. Pardon me. I'm just gonna pass right through here. These guys are actually hard to catch up on. Oh, I almost got kicked off. Damn, they won't let me pass. This is not good. Not good. I think I made this. Oh, I finally caught up. No, no, no. Do that. Shit. Oh, I thought I had app. I thought I had an apple. Damn it. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Catch up, catch up. No, you bitch. I thought, I had, I thought I had an apple. No! Yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking restart this. God damn it. How long is this frickin' race? Okay, there we go. We're good. Holy shit, that was invigorating. John, take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Uh, yes, once Seth and I furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Dean, 
assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Alright, we've done everything for the Monopoly. I think there's a place in here I can buy, maybe? Yes? No? No. Yes, there is. How much money do I have? I got $154. I think this place is $100. Or is it to rent? Let's purchase $100. Let's do it. Let me get me some ammo. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it is. Actually, this horse is. I'm gonna keep it. What are you crying about? Can you help me? Oh, I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> have a soul. I'm gonna have a soul. I'm a hopeless poor man. Actually, while we're at it, let's uh, check out the bounty. We get that. Treasure Hunter Gang. Property Destruction. Add Silent Steed. Give me that. So, first let's uh, get this bounty. No, uh, nobody's there. Okay, good. Slow down. Bitch. Oh, there's the lasso. I'm gonna take you alive. I'm just gonna loot the body. No, 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 I didn't mean to carry victim. No, put him back down. Drop you right here while I collect some loot. Turp and go back. Last man tried to claim my bounty was dissolved in the mud. Oh, fuck. Uh, where you at? You quit shooting me. Fuck. 
Fuck. Where are you? Fuck off. You mind? No, not this horse. I'm gonna get free, and you won't even know it, cause you'll be dead. Carry victim. That's not the horse I wanted to put him on. Oh, here it is. This one. Took way too long. Oh my God! Leave me alone. Needed the money. Let's go. You going on my list, partner? Ain't no good life expectancy for those on the list. Yeah, yeah. Go. I get it. Wait, is that not where I take him? I gotta take him all the way out here? What is this bullshit? Oh my god, no, I don't want to run over the dog. Holy crap, this shit's way too far. This never gets old. Bounty hunter catches me and I kill him. Always entertain him. That is just unpleasant. Yeah. All right, so we got a hundred of hundred four dollars. I think I must have more ammo with this. Forgive me, sir. We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? Let's begin. Um. All right, 
I can't even buy fucking rifle ammo yet. Oh, repeater ammo. That's what I'm... Alright. Now that we've completely made ourselves broke, let's go ahead and save up. And we'll pick this up at a later time. What? The fuck you want? Do you bite your thumb at me? I accept your challenge. Bite your thumb at me. Tobias Wilden. Running from, I killed him fair and square. Let's see if I have anything to sell. Yeah, uh, you could not be a racist. Excuse me. Everybody's still fucking <laughs> running for their lives. <laughs> I just barrel through them. Alright, let's save it. And uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.